Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed with my Kamaya healing spray, so I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So um, I know I pinned in a video that I posted a little while ago that obviously since getting the new iPhone 13 um, Pro Max, the like quality of my videos has gotten better, but like it looks like I have a filter on me um, simply because um, I have these giant windows here um, in my apartment in Oakland. So my blinds are pulled down today. So the lighting is a little bit different. So I'm hoping that these videos turned out better so that I don't look like I have some like whitewashed filter over me. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but Obviously, thank you guys just for your patience as I figure out this new lighting situation. I love my new phone and I do like the video quality. Um, it's just figuring out this lighting right now that's I'm having trouble with. But anyways, I hope you guys have been well. Um, thank you guys so much for booking all of your personal readings with me. Um, all of that is just so, so great. So I think we are good on shuffling. Let's go ahead and get into the energy for today. Let's see what's going on with the collective. we have the first four cards the first three came out in reverse so first off we have the seven of wands um so someone is um trying to not be defensive anymore i feel like this person in the past has always been very confrontational uh when they get into conflict um always you know standing really firm in what they believe in and not wanting to hear the other person's perspective. Um, but I feel like this person is opening their heart a little bit more and, you know, trying to be willing to just listen and prevent that conflict from even starting. Next, we have a seven of cups in reverse. Um, seven, we have a seven of wands and a seven of cups. Seven is a very um, divine spiritual number. Um, so we're dealing with a very spiritual connection here. I'm getting like a spiritual awakening in a sense. So the seven of cups in reverse is about having too many options, feeling sort of in a disillusionment of not understanding what decisions you should be making. Um, but with the seven of cups in reverse, um, it's about, you know, really honing in on what you truly want and not being afraid to make a choice just because you have too many options. And then we have a Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is about taking back a cup. I think this Seven of Cups that they um, had in the past um, made them think they had so many options that they could choose any cup and have it be fruitful. Um, the Knight of Cups in reverse is them realizing that they chose the wrong cup. So they're taking that love back for themselves. And the last card out was the Sun. Um, the reason they're taking that cup back is because the situation that they got themselves into was not fulfilling, it wasn't making them happy anymore. So in order to protect themselves and do what's best for them, um, they decided to take their cup back. All right, okay. Then we have an Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, this person left some type of happiness in the past, um, but now they're feeling nostalgic, they're feeling regretful, regretful about the decision that they made and they're unsure if they really walked away from something that um, should have been better for them. We have a King of Swords in reverse. This person, like I mentioned, they've had trouble making decisions in the past and because of these mistakes that they've made over and over again, you know, now they're seeing themselves as a King of Swords in reverse, someone who's not sure of themselves, someone who isn't able to tell the truth, someone who isn't able to stand in their power, stand in their truth and make the best decisions for themselves. Because they fell for a Queen of Cups in reverse, someone who they thought cared about them a lot, someone that they thought was going to love them and nurture them in the way that they've always wanted, but um, the person that they invested their time and their attention in um, ended up being selfish and ended up, you know, loving themselves more than any love that they can give to them. Very interesting. Let's go to the bottom of the deck. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. So I think this person, you know, they've had a lot of mental conflict as well as conflict with friends and family because they were relying on other people to give them advice on their connection. Um, that caused nothing but conflict. So with this Five of Wands in reverse now, this person is trying to quiet the noise that's in their head and trying to resolve the conflict that's going on there. 
with the seven of pentacles in reverse like i mentioned they invested in the wrong person they invested in a situation that ended up not being bountiful there was no great harvest nothing came out of that investment um, in that time and attention that they gave to this other person so with the Ten of Swords in reverse here, they were forced to retreat because they felt really betrayed and backstabbed and, you know, they had to take that time to heal. With the Three of Cups here, they're really miserable in their situation now. They were involved in way too many third party situations and, you know, there's no happiness. There's no partying. There's no celebration for that. With the high priestess in reverse this person really doesn't trust their intuition anymore they don't trust the decisions that they're making for themselves um, with the six of cups in reverse they know that there's no going back to this queen of cups until they heal this internal past trauma um, that they need to in order to choose a better person in the future with the tower in reverse, um, that's just to let you know that the worst of it is now behind you. Um, you know, the situation happened just so that you can learn from it and continue to grow up. With the seven of swords in reverse, you know, you're not going to let people betray you anymore. You're not going to let people lie to you, deceive you. You're really going to pay attention to the red flags in ways that you haven't in the past. And with the two of cups in reverse, you know, you're not going to invest in any relationship that you know is uneven and you know that this other person isn't going to give into the relationship the way that you want. So that's a lot of sort of heartbreaking information to take in, but obviously I think whoever I'm channeling, this is like, or this could be you, you know, this could just be something that happened to you. You invested in the wrong person and you know, it taught you a lot of lessons. You know, when you get into a karmic relationship, um, the karma is meant to teach you lessons and to teach you, you know, who you want in the future, who you should, you should be investing your time and attention to, as well as just like learning what you want and what you don't want in a relationship. So, you know, don't be so hard on yourself for choosing the wrong person. It happens to everyone. Um, you know, very few people meet the one person that they're going to spend the rest of their lives with um, on the as the first person that they end up dating. So, you know, there's a lot of frogs we end up kissing on our journey to find true love. Um, but that's just how it goes sometimes. So I'm actually just being called to um, pull a um, spiritual message from your spirit guides from my Work Your Light Oracle deck. So, Spirit, what spiritual advice does my collective need to hear in order to keep moving forward in healing their hearts and learning from this karmic relationship that they got out of? Please let us know. Okay. So we got three cards came out. <clears throat> so first off, we have mirror and it says who or what is triggering you? So this is about taking the time to look at yourself in the mirror and think about your emotional triggers. Think about your shadow side. Think about things in yourself that you don't like that, you know, you refuse to look at um, in the mirror within yourself and figure out, you know, why are these things triggering me? Why am I acting that way? Um, what's parts of that in you can you take and learn from so that you don't take those same toxic um abilities um same toxic habits personality traits into the next relationship that you get into next we have star seed what lights you up so if you don't know about star seeds um star seeds are you know, basically like alien beings, um, divine beings that come from other galaxies, um, other than our Milky, Gal Milky Way galaxy that we currently live in. So Starseed is about being just a divine soul that actually came to earth in order to help it um, and help raise the vibration of the whole world around you. So if you've never heard the word starseed before, this is your sign um, that, you know, it is a word and um, a meaning that you were meant to eventually find out and learn about yourself. You actually may be a starseed. Um, as a starseed, you know, look inside yourself. What lights you up? 
and the light within yourself, you want to spread that to other people in order to help them become the best versions of themselves as well. Um, if you want to know any more about star seeds, um, let me know in a comment below. Maybe I'll do a video about it. Um, other than that, if you do ever do a, an Akashic Records reading, um, my friend um, Kamaya, um, Camila from a Kamaya Healing, um, she does Akashic Records readings. She can tell you more about star seeds there, um, as well as, you know, obviously there's Google. You can just Google it and get as much information as you want to know. Lastly, we have the Ever Unfolding Rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you so this is a reminder that i feel like i've been telling so many people all the time sometimes things happen to you not to punish you not to um you know just for bad things to happen to you a lot of times things happen for you to learn from it um you know we get into these bad relationships um bad things happen in our life just to teach us to be more self-aware, teach us to pay better attention to what's going on in the world around us. Um, as an example, um, just this morning, I was in a very bad mood because I missed the delivery of my package because I was watching um, a video on my phone and then I got a notification from the front door and, you know, my sister went out for brunch with her friends this morning. So I was like, it can't be my sister. Who the heck is like calling me? Um, so at the last moment, I tried to answer the door to see who it was, but I didn't get an answer. Um, and then about a few seconds later, I got a notification that I missed my package that was meant for delivery. And I was super disappointed, but in the end, you know, it just forced me to, you know, be very self-aware. Um, obviously I was expecting a package. I didn't think that that door message was my package, but if I had paid better attention, my package would be here right now. So, you know, Things happen to you, not for you, just to teach you a lesson and to allow you to be more self-aware in the future. So that is it for today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to our channel as well as get our videos out to more and more viewers. If you are brand new and anything resonated, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button to get notifications of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the later one. Bye guys.